Inside this video right here, I'm gonna share with you three things you absolutely must know about respiratory emergencies. Here we go. Hey everyone, it's the paramedic coach here. I'm so excited to deliver this video for you. I'm gonna be going over respiratory emergencies, three things you gotta know, here we go. Oh, real quick, hit the like button, hit subscribe, tap that thing, let's go. Now, here's what we got. Say we're talking about asthma, and we're talking about the asthma patient, how they present, so you can understand this, whether it's out in the field, school, national registry. We're also gonna talk about from BLS all the way up to ALS, how we treat the asthma patient, okay? First piece about asthma you need to know is this. With asthma, it's bronchoconstriction. The bronchioles are constricting, they're being closed down. Now here is the second pearl. I want you to remember this for the rest of your career. Asthma presents cough and tight. What was that? Asthma presents with cough and it's tight. So they're gonna be, oh my chest feels tight and they're coughing. That's an asthma patient, okay? So now, with that being said, how do we treat the patient, okay? Now, one of the best questions you can ask an asthma patient is when was your last asthma attack and have you ever gone to the ICU or been intubated before when you've actually had asthma? Because an asthma patient who hasn't had an attack for a long time versus someone who's constantly going to the ICU you just wanna know what the expectations are going in, okay? What their normal asthma attack like, okay? Now you might not always get the answer to that, but I wanna give you that right away. Now here we go, now look at all these meds here. Now butyrol, epi, cyamedrol, magnesium, a lot of meds. Let's talk about why we're giving these meds. You cannot, you can't, you can't give a drug without knowing what it does, okay? So check this out. We're gonna start with, Albuterol. Albuterol is a beta 2 agonist, okay? So albuterol, that's continuous nebs you're gonna to give to your patient, are gonna open up the bronchioles and the bronchi, open them up. That's the first stage, the first level of treating an asthma patient. Now, what else do we have in our toolbox? Well, if it gets more severe, we have over here, epinephrine. Epinephrine is an alpha 1, beta 1, but it also acts on the beta-2 very strongly as well, and we're gonna give that IM, intramuscularly, okay? So that's gonna be why we give epi. Notice, albuterol and epi both act in the beta-2, which we know when that receptor is activated, it's gonna open up the lungs. So those all make sense, okay? Now, what about cyamedrol? Cyamedrol is a steroid medication. So cyamedrol is gonna help the inflammation going on from that bronchoconstriction, from what's going on inside the lungs, okay? This is gonna help the patient in the more long term, while these drugs over here are helping in the short term. Now there's two more things. One of them I didn't write down. I'm gonna save it for you, so stick around for the bonus here. Here's magnesium, okay? Notice I've given you a lot more than three things here because I care about you, okay? Now check this out. Magnesium. Magnesium is a smooth muscle relaxant. It has uses in cardiac emergencies, OBGYN emergencies, but also asthma. You can give your patients a two gram drip in a 100 cc normal saline bag hung over about 10 minutes to treat an asthma patient. So the normal flow of things, if I was to give you a normal flow, you'd start off your patient with albuterol, okay? If they get worse, like meaning that their end title doesn't look very good, they're you know, not able to speak at all, you know, they're, they're basically um, getting more accessory muscle use. You see them trending from distress to failure. They're getting much worse. You wanna move on to epi. You wanna move on maybe to mag, okay? Cyamedrol, you're gonna give to anybody who's having an asthma attack, okay? So you, you start with the first line here, work your way down. There's one more thing we didn't talk about. It's CPAP. So CPAP is going to put a tremendous amount of pressure. Remember we talked about bronchoconstriction being tight? 
What's going to happen with CPAP, it's going to put pressure in the lungs to keep them open, okay? To actually get the oxygen and start ventilating your patient better, okay? Some patients that have really, really bad are going to be put on BiPAP in the hospital, okay? That can happen too, but they're going to continue to give NEBS, and don't forget, you can actually give albuterol through CPAP. Quick tip there, my friends. Hope you enjoyed this one. I got one more message for you. If you are one of these three people, if you're someone getting ready for school, whether it's EMT, advanced EMT, or paramedic, maybe you're in school right now, it's very accelerated, you're trying to catch up, or you're trying to understand these concepts more simply, you're having a hard time flipping through textbooks, or maybe you're somebody right now getting ready for national registry, or maybe you failed, you need extra help. This is exactly why I created my video study course. And let me tell you, there is much more impact in there than just that. That is just the beginning, my friend. This is my life's work. Click the link in the description down below. I want to give you a lifetime access to my entire video vault right now. You also get access to our community group. My friends, thank you so much for all the kind words. Thanks for being a part of the channel, and I will see you next time. Waste, don't waste any time. Don't, don't be hesitant and just do it because I know this program works. And I know it's, it got me to where I was, where it's been a year without school from EMT to, hey, I passed my test in 70 questions. Like, go for it. You could do it. Like, do not hesitate and don't waste any time. People that don't know you, they need to, they need this program. This program is not a, a choice. To me, this program is a half. They take uh, uh, thousands and thousands of pages in the books and you just narrow it down and just make everything simple. I passed the registry, so uh, it's, it's, it's great content, man. I promise you it's worth it took this with three weeks left to go in my class and I just I'm not sure if I would have been able to pass my course or the NREMT first try without this course. The fact like when I was taking the, the national and I would read the question and I, I would be like whoa Evan literally just went over this in the car so it's it really it helps. I got to the point where I was just ready to spill all my knowledge onto this freaking test so I'm like you know what man just go ahead go for it open it up Boom, congratulations, you passed. It was um, outside of having my children, man, it's probably the, like the happiest day of my life, bro, to be honest with you.